Hello and good morning to a slightly blustery morning. Uh, we are getting the wheels painted today, finally. Um, as some of you may know, I've spoken about this in a couple of videos. Um, these wheels here, my JR15 wheels. Uh, these are the newer front wheels. And these are the older rear wheels are gonna get a lick of paint. And as you can see on here, they've got a bit of corrosion on them. Um, it's a little bit masked because they're so dirty at the moment. I can only assume that this is a common thing from these JR wheels because my old fronts were doing the same thing uh, and obviously these rears are doing it. Um, I haven't seen the new ones start to do it yet. I guess maybe I've not had the car cleaned enough for the uh, chemicals to have uh, taken hold. Um, but I'm just going to get the whole wheels painted just to try and get that sorted out. Um, I'm going to go for a different colour as well. Uh, I have mentioned the colour in a couple of previous videos, but um, I'll wait for this video just to uh, show you the end result when they are done. But yeah, I'm going to go drop off the car now uh, and get them painted. The place I'm going to is about a 15 minute drive away. Uh, I haven't really worked out how I'm going to get back from there because um, I'm dropping the car off with them. Um, so I'm probably just going to have to ride my bike, I think. But it gives me a chance to show you the practicality of the Supra, which is actually quite surprising. that it fits in pretty well I think I mean the bike I've had to fold the rear seats down obviously um, but I mean the bike itself is probably what I think it's a 28 inch wheel I don't know it's a road bike um, I haven't had to move the front seat forward um, at all really it's pretty much in its standard position um, rear seats obviously folded down um, I've taken out pretty much anything in the boot of, of use but I mean for the fact that it quite easily fits uh, that bike in there, I'm fairly surprised. It's a bit of a model of practicality, to be honest. I mean, you don't need anything else, do you? The only problem I'd say is that the boot floor is really high, so um, the boot space, I guess, is, is kind of low and long. Um, so if you've got any big boxes, that's where it struggles. So this is the company I'm taking the car to. It's called Revive in Send in Surrey. Um, and this is exactly what I'm gonna go for, I think. They look pretty good, don't you reckon? I reckon they'll handle well around the track. Little biscuits, like rich teas. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave the car here for, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks. I think they basically said that they wait for a batch of wheels to come in, then stick them all in the oven at the same time, um, probably to save on this uh, energy crisis that we're having at the moment. Um, it's all good with me, obviously. I have the Civic as a daily driver, so I can just use that for the meantime. But they said I could have a quick little peek inside the uh, the workshop so let's just go have a look okay car all dropped off now for me to cycle about 40 minutes I think home wish me luck hope it doesn't rain okay so spoiler alert um, I didn't get wet um, it was a bit of a difficult ride though because my tyre started going flat on the way back. So uh, what I thought was going to take me about half an hour, 40 minutes, took me uh, a bit over an hour. But anyway, this is what we do for the course. And I'm just seeing the wheels for the first time now. And I think they look really good. I'm really happy with that. All right, future peers here. Now, just before I show you the wheels, I did actually want to show the process of the wheels being done. James from Revive was kind enough to actually record the process on his phone uh, and send me the footage, so I will drop that in now.
it's pretty amazing the work that's gone into those wheels and you know the technique to sort of spray around like that I, I find that pretty stunning um, I couldn't imagine how difficult it would be with uh, slightly more intricate wheels than mine so a big thanks to Alan Noodles and James for all their hard work getting the wheels sorted I wanted to strike a good balance between gold and bronze. Um, I think I've managed to strike that balance absolutely perfectly here. Thank you to the guys at Revive for actually helping me pick the colour. Um, luckily there was someone who had just got some bronze wheels in this colour recently. Um, so they were able to recommend this particular colour. The colour itself is Jeep Dragon Bronze. Um, I think it's like an accessory colour for Jeep. Um, it's a really nice shade of bronze, like a light bronze. What I didn't want was too dark, because when a wheel is too dark, it almost disappears uh, from the car and you don't really see the wheels. But then on the flip side of that, I didn't want gold wheels either, because gold I don't think necessarily suits the, a silver car. So yeah, trying to strike that balance in between the two was uh, was quite a difficult task, but I think this is spot on. You can really see how the corrosion has disappeared. Before we had all this like horrible corrosion around this area here especially, uh, that's all gone. These are the rears, so these are a couple of years old, these, uh, these wheels now and they look obviously brand spanking again. I think the colour is just a perfect contrast um, to the silver. Gold as I said would have been a bit too bright, bronze maybe a little bit too dark, so this Jeep Dragon bronze colour uh, is slap bang in between and uh, marries everything up really well. I need to make a decision on what to do with the centre caps. So the centre caps uh, are still silver. They can't really be painted because they're obviously plastic. Um, so I need to work out whether I am going to have them in or not. I don't actually think it looks as bad as I'd anticipated. Um, but it does also look quite mean without centre caps in there. So maybe that's one for you guys to decide whether you think I should have centre caps in or centre caps out. Let me know comments down below. I personally am leaning towards centre caps out because these are a little bit of a mess as you can kind of see. They've also had this corrosion issue even though they're uh, plastic. Maybe I could clean them up a bit but it's not worth cleaning them up if, uh, if I don't want to put them on so help me make a decision please. Uh, not that this is an ad but um, it's worth definitely giving the guys a shout out at Revive in Send so if you do need any wheels painting or I think they do body work as well um, give them a shout um, because the customer service was fantastic and uh, all around good guys and great work as you can see. So that's it for today's video, just wanted to um, show you how the wheels are looking, I'm really happy with how they've come out. So um, thanks for watching, subscribe if you want to subscribe, if you don't then don't bother and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.